I had always been impressed with the developer. You know, he'd always said that this place had a, a really unique and definable sense of place. It was cold that day. It was in the marine lane, and our realtor had arranged to look at a lot up here, and halfway up the hill in Chamisau, we broke through the marine layer into the sun, and we both looked at each other and said, okay, yep, the preserve it is. This is where we want to live. <laughs> all of the sites are beautiful, and all the homeowners want this indoor-outdoor living. They want to create houses that blend in with the nature, that enhance it rather than detract from the natural beauty here these themes about how to create indoor-outdoor living, about how to defer to the land, about how to live in harmony with nature. And, you know, I think that starts with just how special this place is and the land is. So in bringing together the actual team, uh, the, the people that would bring our vision to life was a key part of our overall plan. And finding the very best architect to build the home, to find the very best property landscape architect was a critical part of our journey and we were very, very fortunate with who we selected and who brought that plan to life. If you're an architect and someone tells you they'd like for you to design a home on a 20,000 acre ranch that's almost a historic landscape in Northern California, you can't help but get excited. It's a pristine environment and it's really a privilege to be able to design a home for someone in this environment. I think one of the most unique things about the community here in the preserve is that the bulk of the land is in conservancy. What we all want to do when we're building in the preserve is to conserve the land, make sure that what we're planting increases habitat and supports wildlife, and that we're, we're building in concert with what's already here. And the conservancy is a good partner in the design review process because they have so much knowledge about the native plants and the animals that are here and how best to cohabitate together. The process of designing a house at the preserve is a little different than in other parts of the county and I think it's different in a good way. As you go through that design review process, we've always really enjoyed it because what it does is it brings together the landscape architect and the architect and a lot of times the contractor at a really crucial point in the project when you're first putting pen to paper, when you're first conceptualizing how that building is going to be laid out on the site. So the design guidelines are in fact guidelines and any particular design is considered on a lot-by-lot, case-by-case basis. There's just a couple things about the guidelines that are hard and fast, but the architectural expression that, that an owner wants to present, there's a lot of flexibility in that. And we work with the owner and their design teams to try to approve a project that really is the vision of the owner. Each site that we get to work on really has its own qualities its own characteristics that separate it from other sites in the preserve. We really encourage our clients to spend time on their site before launching into the design process and really during the design process. There's a lot of subtle cues, a lot of beauty that is revealed over time with these properties. Those factors really collectively create a dialogue about the design and about the design that really wants to inhabit that site. When we approach the process of the design itself and what we look to communicate in the plan, was that we wanted to feel like the home belonged here and had been here for a while and we'd had this kind of timeless in its nature and its presence. Every moment and every aspect of that plan was something that uh, we felt that we wanted to be part of. We found it to be extremely helpful in our process in terms of our decision making. We never felt confined by the restrictions. We were, I think, kind of set free to really in in embrace this, this canvas and make the most of it. They're really protecting everything that you want and that you value. And having the shared values is not difficult at all. And it really is quite marvelous to be here and makes you feel good that you're living in the conservancy and this land is protected. Um, but you get to live in it. It's special. It is special. Where is there anything like this? <laughs>